guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home, holiday, event, wedding, and DIY decor. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a groom centerpiece for your upcoming bridal shower or wedding. Here we go. centerpiece you guys have been asking for me to make the groom but I ended up making the pregnant lady or the mommy to be centerpiece instead because it was easier <laughs> so much easier trying to um, make the groom in my head has been a challenge because that's where the battle starts is in my head I'm like rocking my brain day and night, night and day. How am I going to make this groom out of this paper mache product that is obviously has tatas. There isn't a male paper mache uh, product that I can buy that is affordable for you and for me. So what I decided was that I had to make the uh, paper mache form, uh, dress form into a male. So uh, I know that it sounds easy now that I'm saying it, but it really did, it really did, oh my God, my Spanish. It really did rock my brains for all these weeks. So what I'm going to do is make her with the obvious tatas into a male so I can then make a broom centerpiece. All right guys, crossing my fingers, let's get started. So I'm going to make her a he and therefore I have to take this off I am going to need to paint the middle part white so I kind of gonna go from this side <laughs> I feel like I'm giving her a boob job a boob reduction that's exactly what I'm doing actually so um, I'm going to be using my husband's toolbox yeah let's see what's in here All right, so we are going to cut through the side. Here it is. I cannot believe how easy this was. I spent a couple of weeks trying to figure out how I was going to do this and look how easy it was. Oh my gosh. Yay. So um, she's still a little shapely. I mean, it is a girl, but we are going to make it work. All right. Now um, I have a couple of types of tape, but I think I'm going to use this one. I like the texture of it. There you go. And now she's officially a boy. So now I'm going to give him a little collar, or just a line to know where to stop with the paint. Now I'm going to go ahead and start painting this top area with acrylic white paint. So here is what my dress form looks like right now. I went up on the neck a little bit because as the shirt of the suit, uh, it needs to be a little higher. So just go up a little bit on the neck. All right, so next I am going to use this um, cotton and this is polyester and cotton material. This is not stretchy, but it's very soft, okay? And it has a little bit of a lines it just looks very suit like <laughs> so that's why I purchased it and um, you can also purchase a suit that is already made maybe from a doll or something but for those of you that can find it or can afford it because I'm not sure that uh, it's going to be cheap you can purchase um, a piece of material like this at Walmart this was two dollars and fifty cents for a yard 
Okay, so now that the shirt is on, I'm going to move down to the pants and I'm going to measure and cut a piece of this material. So I am going to wrap it around and see how much I'm going to need. Now that you have your piece of material measured and cut, you are going to glue it onto the form and you are going to glue it through the back. All right, so it's going to look like a skirt as, at first and you are going to use your hot glue gun to glue from the bottom to the top. This is a little wider because she has curves, um, but you can leave it as it is or you can glue it down however you like. I'm going to glue it down a little bit right here. In order to make this skirt look like pants, I am going to make a slit right here that is going to separate left and right. It's going to look a little bit like a triangle, but you don't want to make it too high, okay? Because if you make it too high, then this is going to look like shorts, all right? So basically, you want it really, really low. I'm going to stop cutting because I'm getting carried away. Now I'm going to pull the pants down and then I'm going to glue this down, all right? Now I'm going to move on to make the suit jacket which is going to help her look more like a man because the um, jacket is going to be a little more boxy which is going to give her the manly look instead of all these curves because those curves do not lie, oh my goodness. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to measure and cut the amount of material I'm going to need to make the jacket, okay? So I'm just going to drape it over the shoulders and I'm going to pull until I know where I want the length of the jacket to go to, all right? And give yourself a little bit more because you are going to hem it, you know? So it will look a little neater. This is going to be the width I'm going to need. So I'm going to cut from here all the way back. As you can see, this is quite a bit of material. So I'm going to be cutting a lot, okay? And I'm going to cut it as uh, the length of the table, or as far as it touches the table. And I will cut the rest a little later. So this is about the size or measurement that you are going to need to make the suit jacket. It doesn't have to be exactly the same measurements as I have uh, because I'm not sure what your taste is like. It could be a longer uh, jacket or a shorter jacket, totally up to you. Once you have your material uh, and you see how it looks on your dress form, you can decide that then. But it will look something like this, okay? Next, I am going to make a little hem here all the way down, which is going to be the collar and side of the jacket. So I'm just going to grab my hot glue and I'm going to add a little glue all the way down. And then you are going to glue this part that you already glue one more time. Now I'm going to move on to these sides and I'm going to hem that as well, but I'm only going to do it one time. So it's going to be just like this. Next, you are going to place the material over the dress form, but you have to make sure that it is even and you are going to know that by making sure that these two points right here meet in the middle, okay? And then you are going to glue the material onto the dress form and to do that, you are going to add hot glue right over the tape, okay? And then you are going to bring the material over. Next, I'm going to glue the right side over the left side. All right, so next, I am going to cut some of this material off in order to make it a little more 
boxy I'm going to cut from the sides so right where the shoulders are all the way down all right so both sides are cut and now you are going to glue it really loosely on the back as so okay let me turn it over okay okay so now we have all this extra material here that we will have to cut to make it look like one piece so what I'm going to do is uh, glue together this piece with this piece so it can look like this side uh, the stitch side of this suit and I'm going to glue it a little more towards the back okay where you can barely see it all right guys so here is what it looks like so far I am thinking of making the back of it like a um, tuxedo tail what do you guys think and just curve it and that way it will seem a little more natural to me because I feel like if I cut it it's just not going to flow right I'm gonna glue this down here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place him on top of this bowl so I can get an idea of what I want to do okay so I'm going to glue them right on here next I'm going to add this black rhinestones that I got from Walmart I believe they were about $1.99 and I'm going to use them as buttons for this shirt and suit I'm going to add a black bow also from Walmart as I was saying earlier, I think that I may do a tuxedo tail as so, right? I think this is the best alternative besides cutting it right here. I think you're gonna be able to see that and I don't think I'm gonna like it. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and cut inwards and make it to see tuxedo tail. All right, guys, so here is my version of a tuxedo tail. Yep, <laughs> not my best work, but I do love the front. Now to make a couple of finishing touches, I am going to use black ribbon that I'm going to be placing as pockets for here, here, and right here. This is it. This is my groom wedding centerpiece and he's going to look absolutely handsome right next to the bride. I thought the hardest part of this project was going to be turning her into a he, but it really wasn't. It was actually the suit jacket. That was really a challenge for me, but overall, I think it looks great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, do so right now. <laughs> also, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of my centerpiece and leave me a comment anyway because I love to chit chat with you guys all the time. And make sure to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you have a friend or a family member that's having a wedding or a bridal shower, make sure to share with them at the end of this video. And just go ahead and share it on your social media because you never know if your friend's cousin's baby's mom might be having a wedding or a bridal shower or is helping somebody with a bridal shower and they might need to save a penny or two. Until next time, bye.